I'm Tracy. Hi, I'm Glenn with Automax Plus. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Beneath, Beneath the Surface. The surface. I'm Glenn, last name's Erfer. Um, I've been detailing for 31 years. My name is Tracy Haynes, uh, soon to be Tracy Erfer, because we're getting married in January. I have been... Uh, with Glenn for six and a half years and detailing for six and a half years with him. Automax came to me, what, about a year and a half? June of last year. No, uh, March of last year. March of last year. I had the name 20 some odd years ago. Automax was the name he had always wanted to use. Uh, we added the plus to it because we do more than just autos. My God kind of sick and tired of making other people's dreams come true and working for other people, but you always, I was always scared to take that leap. We jumped in the water and a week later, COVID happened. And we signed a lease on this, uh, this building here. And that was kind of sketchy, but we've made it just fine. So it's getting busier and busier and busier. So I was working at a body shop and we we hired somebody, he came in, and you know, this was back in the time when we, you know, I was working a full-time job, but also always detailing on the side. I always had customers, um, but it wasn't a full-time thing. So I was dabbling with this coding, that coding. Um, it was just, in my experience, it was mass confusion. The guy would come and bring me the coding, and these are my instructions. Then the following month, the instructions were different. There was no continuity in it. Then I left that, I tried this other one. He would give me a kit. Inside the kit, you'd open it up, it'd be missing, it'd always be missing something. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't have a block or you wouldn't have the uh, the, the material that goes on the block. The, the, yeah, the little Jimmy Jammer there, but anyway. And there were, there were claims of, this one was like a two year claim coding. And I put it on something, follow all the instructions. And six months in, it's, it's not doing anything, you know? So I'm not gonna sell something to a customer. I'm not gonna, you know, scam a customer. I'm not gonna tell them it does this and it doesn't do it. So anyway, we had hired this guy at the body shop. His name was Matt, Matt Gentile. And I would say, hey, what coding do you use? He said, IGL. I'm like, oh, never heard of that. And he gave me Brian Mattingly's phone. So I reached, he, you know, he was really, spoke highly of Brian Mattingly. I gave Brian Mattingly a call and he's, he's very well-spoken. Um, he took, I don't know how long, half hour out of his day, talked to me about the product, explained to me about it. Um, it's hard for me that I don't remember. It was a while ago, so I don't remember all, all the specifics. But I just felt very comfortable with Brian, and he set me up an account, and I was still working and doing my thing. And once we uh, once we tried, we got what was the first we tried Quartz Plus, I believe, was the first one we tried. Mm -hmm. And just the application process. Um, well, it's, it's, you know, it leveled real nice. And, that's how it took off from there. The rest is a blur. The end result was, is what sold us on IGL. You know, the, the ease of application, the, the product itself, you know, how it was presented, uh, and then just the final result of it. And then add into that the people that we were talking to, and it just immediately became like a family. Uh, so it just, that, that's what sold me on it anyways, is the, the people behind IGL. It's their family. It's been like a, um, how do I explain it? Like a rocket. <laughs> you just found something and we just kind of exploded with 
with uh, new the products and learning the new products and trying to attend as many trainings as we can. And we're just, we're passionate about the product. Um, and it, it, again, I'll go back to people, you know, they just, there's always somebody there for you. There's always somebody to help you out or pick up, you know, answer a phone call or a messenger, you know, we're, we're on messenger with Danny Chong and, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning, you know, and he's helping us through a coding on a car that we were yeah. having troubles with. And there's always somebody there to, to help you out. And so it's, it's been an amazing journey for me. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I've, you know, I've been dealing with detailing companies for 31 plus years, um, detailing supply companies, and probably hundreds. And until I got involved in IGL, I've never experienced anything like the, the support that's involved in it. Um, I mean, it all, it trickles down probably from Keong all the way to Joel LaPalm, Jeff Carey. And, and all the way down, and we could get, you know, Joel the Palm on the phone if we needed to. Um, I've reached out on Messenger to Keong about a couple of things, and he answers me. That's unheard of, you know. To me, a large percentage of the people involved in IGL, we would consider family. So it's an absolutely amazing product. And there's that other aspect that I've never seen with any other company. I mean, I've, there's nothing I haven't detailed to some extent. Um, the aviation aspect was the only part that I hadn't done. Yeah, no, I hadn't touched an airplane. So I touched boats, jet skis, uh, cars, trucks, motorcycles, RVs, you name it. I mean, now we're coating barbecue, generators, wheels, tires, not tire. Well, yeah, there's tire coatings too, but um, yeah, aviation was the only thing that I wasn't doing. We went to the uh, the aviation training with Ryan St. Clair and Cheyenne St. Clair down in uh, Conroe, Texas, and they were dynamite. And just being in that environment of the hangar with, with all these aircraft around you, that got a fire lit under under both of us. So, I mean, I, we're very fortunate. Um, the house where we live is within a mile. There's a train station right alongside the Hudson River. So we've got trains, boats. Two miles the other direction is an airport. Um, and then we've got, we're surrounded by cars. So uh, we also have Caterpillar dealers that have all the... Uh, all the Caterpillar equipment and a few different um, recreational vehicles. So like motorcycles and side-by-sides. So we're surrounded by potential customers. The aviation part was the only one we hadn't gotten into. And uh, we jumped into that and we've been maintaining a fleet of Sikorsky helicopters. So that's been a lot of fun. It's a nice environment. You leave the shop and it's nice to get away from cars and trucks, and it's a totally different environment. It's clean, there's a beautiful sunset going on, and it, it's just something different, which is a nice change of pace. One of the biggest challenges was we we came back from the aviation training. We had a customer reaching out to us about his Lexus SUV, he wanted detail, and then he started calling us about taking care of the helicopters. And we're like, awesome. Um, then he was saying how we, we needed to be insured and our normal shop coverage that covers us for driving customer cars, working on customer cars, doesn't cover aircraft. So it was about three, two to three months, two to three months of, of just trying to get aviation insurance. <laughs> and it was to the point where they called in another company and, you know, it was like, Hey, did you get insurance yet? They were going to call in another company. And once they came in, we might not be able to get the helicopter. So that was really stressful. Tracy was on the phone countless hours going back and forth. Um, and we, we finally did get it, obviously. But 
that was tough. I think just meeting uh, the IGL people uh, for me, um, being able to train with uh, Jennifer Turcott, uh, Marcus Parsley, Ryan St. Clair, you know, just uh, to meet some people that have accomplished amazing things. Um, I think that's been, it's not one isolated incident, but it's kind of an overall, an overall highlight for me. So. Yeah, it's hard, hard for you to pick just one, one thing. Yeah. I mean, we just, we got back from this training down in Lexington this past weekend and it was just amazing. You know, it was just really great to be in presence of um, great people and surprise, you know, being extra surprised by Joel being there was great. And it's just family, you know, my favorite would be the, the Kenzo with graphene right now. Um, excited to try out the new product <laughs> coming out. Very excited about that. Um, but what's your favorite? Ah, that, that's a tough one. So <laughs> if you came in here and said you had to take one product away, um, or no, there was one product I couldn't give up. It would probably be Eclipse. No, no other coding company has anything like it. Anything is versatile. Anything that applies the way it does and does what it does. Um, that or Kenzo. But it's hard to choose this one. The goal of becoming that million dollar shop someday is, you know, what I, I, it's hard sometimes to, you know, I'm not. We ain't no spring chickens anymore, so it's hard, you know, when you get to be our age to get up every day and, you know, we're the ones doing all the work, the physical work, and some days you don't want to, but we just, you know, it's that goal of being a successful business. I just, I want that, you know, I, I didn't have a career. I was married for 20 years and I raised kids and was I didn't have an education. So for me, it's to be able to say that I'm a successful person in business, but not I'm a successful woman in business. And um, I mean, I'm proud of where we've already gotten to. So I can't wait to see what's ahead in the future. Yeah. So did you figure out? Yeah, no. Uh <laughs> I get inspired by solving problems, <laughs> um, figuring ways to do things quicker and this and that. But one of the main things is other people. So, and being a part of all the IGL closed groups and, and other groups and things you see on YouTube and this and that, seeing somebody else do something, I'm like, man, why didn't I think of that? You know, how to be the best possible detailers and ceramic coating installers that we can possibly be. So I, I get a lot of inspiration from count, countless other people that just have great ideas or, you know, they, they find a way to do something we're already doing quicker, more efficient. So, you can always learn. And, you know, you learn something new every day. Yeah. As soon as you think you know everything, you're Mr. King detailer or Mrs. King de queen detailer. In my opinion, you're done. You're <laughs> So I learned something just about every day. Yep. And a lot of times it's from the most unlikely person. It could yep. be someone that tar started two weeks ago. I've had that happen at jobs. We hire somebody. I'm training him. He blurts out something. Hey, why don't we try this? I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so go to one training event. Did At least one. That'd be my first bit of advice. Yeah. Um, cause once you're there, you can kind of see the, the nucleus of everything. Get your hands on, on and try the products. I would say, um, as a, a potential detailer, um, getting into not only detailing, but into IGL, I would say, don't give up. 
um, and invest yourself into your company um, and just don't give up. You got it. You got to keep pushing forward. I mean, look at us. We started a business in a worldwide pandemic and, you know, we're just kind of growing, growing and we're on the verge of a explosion. Um, we, it's just something we can feel that there's just so much going on and it's just going to go, <laughs> it's just going to explode very soon. We work at our local airport and we do a lot of helicopters over there. And they have a local community college has an aviation program at the airport. And we went to an open house a couple month ago, last month or something. They have um, a presidential Air Force One at our airport, a, a regional, a smaller, um, a no. smaller aircraft. I want to say it's a Gulf Stream G3. Yeah, and but it's a it's an Air Force One. And we reached out and um, spoke with the gentleman that's in charge of the uh, aviation program there at the school. And uh, we got the okay that we can go in and detail it. It's going to be an IGL event. So we're excited about it. It's just starting in the, the planning stages of it, but it will be in the next spring. President Ronald Reagan flew on it. President Bush Sr., General Norman Schwarzkopf, and it went back and forth to Desert Storm. So it's it's kind of a piece of American history that we'd like to preserve. His his mom was a huge part to the start of our business. Our mom. She invested in our business, has believed in us. Um, so shout out to her, Absolutely. shout out to, you know, uh, Jen and Dole and Marcus, Brian, that they've been there for us. And you already know about the other big news that we had with the Air Force One. Um, uh, and the fact that we'd be getting married next month. So. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> It'd be impossible to do that. We appreciate everybody in this company. Even the, just down to the installers, you know, that we had a customer uh, that we wow. coded his Corvette and he moved to Florida. And I was able to get him hooked up with uh, an installer down there. And just nice that you can, you know, hey, who's in this area? And you know that that customer is going to be taken care of. Even if they're not in your hands anymore, they're going to be taken care of. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.